Yeah, hi folks, this is Martin from the Photo Academy of DU, and here we're back with the second part of my workflow with the Corel Aftershot Pro RAW Converter, and this is all about external editing. So uh, in the first video we have done this image here in black and white. And now I want to go further with an editor. Here under edit you have the option even with the shortcut control and E to edit this image in an external program. I've set up this for the on one perfect photo suite, but now I will show you how you set up an, another editor for your external editing. For this you go into the file menu and there to preferences and here you have the option for the external editor and I like to change this for this video to another program I use very often and it's uh, Topaz Labs. There we go into uh, program, common files, Topaz Labs and here we choose the Fusion Express 2 that you have to install. These are the plugins from the Topaz and this is the program you need to choose for Lightroom and Corel Aftershot Pro so that you get all the other plugins into your RAW converter. So we choose the Fusion Express and we can set up the file format and the color space as well as the DPI for the external editing and we say OK. So and now if you press Ctrl and E or you choose edit, edit with Topaz Fusion Express, the Corel RAW Converter is doing a conversion to a TIFF file that you have here and then we can go into the Topaz Fusion Express and choose whatever plugin we like and I want to choose the detail 2 and run the plugin. So after the pre-processing is done we can go into some of these presets here from the topaz and I want to choose the bold detail but not that much, go back a little bit and then this is all I need for this image to get a little bit more of the graininess and a little bit more of the sharpness of the image. That's uh, nice for printing on the screen it's a little bit too much but for printing it's very fine. Then we can go back with the OK and we can take a look on the original raw file we added here in Coral Aftershock Pro and then the change to the TIFF file with the Topaz Labs filter on it. And as I mentioned before you can choose whatever filter you want by only going into the preference and choose another external editor and Corel is working with a lot of external programs as well as Adobe Lightroom. Yeah, this was it for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye. See you soon.